Three years ago, I was appointed director of Human Technopole, taking up an ambitious challenge to build a new interdisciplinary research center for the life sciences in Italy. Human Technopole's mission is to improve people's health and well-being, carrying out frontier research and developing new approaches to personalized and preventive medicine. To do this, we need the best international talents and the most advanced equipment. In these three years, we worked hard to lay the foundations of a research institute that could be avant-garde, not only in Italy, but also competitive in the world. Here are three important results we are proud to have achieved. First, the infrastructure. Despite the pandemic, Human Technopole's construction activities have almost never stopped. At the time of my appointment, the Institute had 500 square meters of offices. Today, we extend over 20,000 square meters of offices and laboratories. Second, the staff. Three years ago, we were 13 people. Today, we have a staff of over 200, including researchers, technicians, PhD students, and administrators. Over 60% of our scientific staff come from abroad, and we already have 19 different nationalities in our institute. Last but not least, research and scientific dissemination. With an institute not yet fully operational, our scientists have already begun to publish with their new Human Technopole affiliation, and a few weeks ago a research project of our, one of our group leaders, Francesca Coscia, was awarded an ERC starting grant, one of the most important European research funds. We've also started doing teaching courses. We've launched an early career fellows program for young scientists who will work throughout Italy in different institutes. And for the public, we've organized a cycle of events like HD Presents, Remember My Name, which is meant to recognize the discovery of lesser known scientists. We're very happy with what we've already managed to achieve and very excited to start a new full year of challenges. For 2022, our main goals are to continue with the construction of buildings. The South Pavilion will be operational by this year and we will open new laboratories with advanced instruments which will be open to external users. Continue to attract the best talents from around the world and facilitate the return of Italian excellence to Italy. By the end of 2022, we should have a staff of at least 350 people of which over 200 will be scientific personnel. Many new PhD students will also arrive. We want to contribute to a more international research environment together with the universities, with the IRCs, with campaigns dedicated to the public and to young Italians. I'm very proud of what Human Technopole has managed to achieve so far and for what it represents for the future of life sciences and human well-being for Italy and indeed in the world. I hope you will continue to follow and support us, sharing our progress and initiatives.